Now you will also uh, make a graph with uh, with uh, with e. Now, as I said uh, here, uh, e to the zero power it's one. E to the first power we said it in class is two point seven. So the only number that you really need uh, that's new it's uh, e squared, which is seven point four. So we aim at this direction and we say, hmm. So uh, let's go ahead and try to make uh, this uh, make try to make this happen. So what kind of x value do we want? Okay, again, we look at the exponent. We say, yeah, we want to have an exponent of zero, one, and two. Okay, how can we have exponents of zero, one, and two? So we'd say, mm, maybe, um, maybe um, negative three. So if you have an x value of negative three, so negative three plus three, it's uh, zero. E to the zero, it's, uh, it's one. Now, here's the part where you have to be very careful. When we say negative E to the X plus three power, the X plus three power only applies to the E, not to the negative one. So, so you may want to, you may want to uh, write it this way. Uh, it's lagging a little bit. Somehow, yeah. Okay, so you wanna, you want, you may want to write the negative one outside like this. Okay, so uh, so so negative three for the x value. Uh, so again, negative three uh, plus three is zero. E to the zero, it's one. One times the negative one, it's negative one, and then negative one minus one, it's minus two. So at at um, negative three for x, your y value is negative two. And then to create a, uh, to create a value of uh, an exponent of one, we will need the x to be negative two. So uh, negative two uh, plus three, it's one, e to the first power, it's 2.7. Uh, and then we have a negative sitting in front, so negative 2.7 minus one, which will give you negative 3.1. So at negative two, uh, it's negative 3.1. So just plot it somewhere close to 3.1 and it will be uh, very satisfied here. And then, um, and then uh, for uh, square, uh, in order to have a power of two overall, then X would have to, would have to be negative one. So x is negative one. Negative one plus three is two. E square is 7.4. And then you have a negative in the front. So negative 7.4 minus one would give you negative 8.4. Okay. And then you will go ahead and draw the uh, asymptote. And because of the minus one, the asymptote is uh, shifted down for one unit. And then you can go ahead and uh, make the, oh, sorry, negative one, it's over here. And go ahead and make the plot. Okay. So uh, y is equal to negative one for the asymptote. Uh, the domain is negative infinity to infinity. And the range is from negative, negative infinity all the way to negative one, okay? Now, what about the y-intercept, okay? Now, the y-intercept, it's always gonna be zero comma something. So, now I didn't give you uh, anything else for the, uh, for the number here. Uh, so what you could do is this. You can say that it's negative one times e to the zero plus three power minus one, which is negative e to the third power, minus one, and you can just leave that number as your uh, y coordinate of the y-intercept, okay? Because uh, it's gonna be a number that's pretty huge, and we won't be able to graph it anyways. So we just leave it like this, okay?